guys, welcome back. This week we're going to do the wall video. Um, we tried to fit the spar video in with it, but it was like 45 minutes long, so I think that was a little bit too much. But what we're going to try to do is release the spar video midweek and then another one on Sunday. So hopefully we'll get two, two videos out this week and then we'll go back to every week. A little sneak peek, as much as the camera's going to show you is all I'm going to show you too, but there's a camper right behind me that you're learning how to build with me so that's where we are with it right now so i'm not going to keep talking let's just get into the build and uh learn how i do the walls right there it needs to go that way on this one and what i try to do it's just it's oh. yeah it moves quick so you gotta kind of let's get one corner pretty close and then you can clamp it and it keeps it somewhat close, you know, kind of keeps it there. Not 100%, but it makes adjustment a little easier. Okay. It clamps the one corner. Now I can move this corner to meet that. Oh, way too far. Yeah. Way too far. This way. Go on this side. Yeah. Just, just a temporary clamp because I think I'm going to screw them because so they don't move, we know for a fact. Grab the bottom one only. So not the moves. Screws actually will hold it better. And this whole corner is coming off. So we can do, 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 do as many screws as we want. <gasps> And then that back corner so right here is coming off, so we can, you know, use some screws there too. Okay. So which screws do you want? Uh, actually, I'm just going to get some temporary screws. Okay. I have them set aside. I might use the pocket screws on that. Because we're going to be fastening to this edge anyway, uh -huh. so it doesn't matter if we go all the way through. Okay. Both sheets. This is the outside wall, so this whole, I'm not going all the way through. I'm just a couple, a couple threads deep. There's a joke in here somewhere. <laughs>
by that in just a little. That lines up with the 24 right there on the edge of the plywood. We're just going to take this and rotate it. I'm going to go this is smart. Rotate it like so. I have to sharpen this pencil. set up and flip this around and go ahead and make that cut but you guys don't need to watch all that so we'll be right back all right let's cut it
uh, mark the door. So you just, what I do is I'll crack it open so uh, it sits flat, the trim sits flat. I put it on the, on the uh, wall where I want it and just take a pencil and mark around it. Door is nine times out of ten heavy enough to hold itself there and not move. The walls are still clamped together. So this way you're going to be cutting both. You get a perfect cut on both walls, nice and even. Now we're going to pull this out to where I can get to it and cut the hole. But uh, I'll drill a hole. That got screwed up somehow. I'll drill a hole and uh, cut them both out at the same time. And then we're ready to put the walls up. So the door, doors are cut out, so now we're going to uh, mark all the spar locations at one time while the uh, walls are together. This is a flexible tape measure, 100 footer. Don't need 100 feet, but that's what I have, so that's what I'm using. Surveyor's tape. So we're going to go every, we're just going to make a mark, because we'll go come back with a square. hand it off to you. you one foot, two foot, three foot. It gets tricky at the top, so why don't you come over here and do this, because you see how I'm doing it. And then I'll get a square and we'll just finish it. Okay. So go at four foot. So are you working on the top here? Oh, four foot, sorry. Four foot. Here.
Damn it, Jim. Quite sure what y'all missed on putting up that wall. Uh, the battery died on me, so we're gonna start putting in the spars. We only have an inch and a half this time. We don't have a full two by four, so let's make that. Just keep going. I'm going to show you guys. Bring this over here. Okay, I'm going to be drilling through the wall into the end grain, but I really don't like or think that the end grain is enough. So what I do, take a put pocket holes on each side, all both sides. So we're going to put it in. You got the screw going through the end grain, plus you got the screws going into the side of the camper. It's just way stronger that way. Catch up anybody? And just wipe it on over real good. on each side so when you go cut your insulation to put in there you, it, it's ten you know the same measurement all the way across.
Keep on keeping on. You do the same thing. You just keep doing it, doing it, and doing it until you're done. When you get to the top, there'll be one that's got to be a 14 by 14. So the, the opening's got to be 14 by 14 to fit the roof band. So other than that, I do them 12 on center until you get to that one. And that one's 14. I cut ahead of time. What I do is I take the measurement from here to here. That's going to be the same all the way back through. Then what I do is I'll take a 2x4 and cut it to length. And then I rip the 2x4 in half, giving me inch and a half by inch and a half stock. cut side toward the back or you can do it toward the front is because when you're using a 2x4 a when you come from the factory it's an inch and a half it's a true inch and a half so you know it's going to be consistent this way every way through if you're inconsistent when you rip them down and it's a little more then you get waves when you put your your skin on and that's what you don't want you just got to stay consistent and the 2x4s, when they come from the factory, they're already an inch and a half from the factory. And they're pretty regular at an inch and a half, so. You can kind of see what's what here. Go ahead and turn hit the button. Good. Okay, so we have pocket screws on the top and the bottom. And then we have 
one through the side as well. So there it is. That's going to be about it for the evening. So hope you guys enjoyed. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys learned a little something today. That's how I do my wall. Again, we're going to try to release the spar video midweek, probably Wednesday, Thursday. So we'll have the spar video, and then after that, I'm not sure where we're going to go. I'll mention it in the spar video. So far, uh, with the build, all the, uh, all the donations that the members donated are what's being used. It was all the money that was donated. And as I go along, I'm going to try to mention the the businesses that donated at the time we installed their product so just kind of let you know what's going on so until next week thanks for joining me uh it was a pleasure to hang out with you and until then build on <laughs>